Well, I was brought up with aeroplanes because my dad worked in the aircraft engineer and we washed and valeted planes at Logan Air and um, wanted to be an airline pilot but I was talked out of it by <laughs> Captain Duncan McIntosh who said do a law degree and I did my law degree and got a good career in the local government out of it. was able to go for the private pilot's licence eventually got early retirement and did a bus driver licence. I worked in um, Super 8 cine film in the 1970s because I, I realised that things were changing suddenly and I wanted to record, record the changing transport scenes in a film. Trains, planes, buses, ships and Super 8. With hindsight, it, still photography would have been a better medium but, but because most, most of the Super 8 stuff got destroyed over the years after the projectors failed. <laughs> Let's see what Greater Glasgow Passenger Transport Executive are doing within their local area for public transport in 1979. We used to travel nearly every day on the underground when it was at Glasgow University and then they closed it because they were modernising it and I thought it would be a good thing to have, have a record of it. Um, and I got lucky because one of the old trains was still sitting outside at Govan. Um, but they were all, by that time it was well into the late 70s and most of them had gone for scrap. The new underground trains will shortly be in public service beneath the streets of Glasgow. Her Majesty travelled below Buchanan Street on the new train to St. Peanut. Branch Line Society used to run a rail tour every, every year on the um, English Bank Holiday Saturday and we, we covered a lot of the freight only lines which were under threat of closure. In fact, most of them did close in the late 70s or early 80s. We paused among the ore wagons at General Terminus and fence to Chrysler Linwood. Where are you here Just for? Just going for a trip. Um, you like it, I suppose. Should be on our track. Went to Fraserborough not long before the Dice Junction to Fraserborough line. The Buchan line closed, it's now a cycleway and we went up to uh, Aberdeen to join. It was a, the main group was from Liverpool but we joined them at Aberdeen and we spent a day going to Fraserborough in the morning and then we went to Dufftown in the afternoon. Which is, Dufftown's another line that's since closed although it has reopened as a heritage railway. You book a trip for a day out or, or you do a trip independently and then you work out which shots you're going to take. And, Sometimes it goes wrong because the thing you want is into sun and you, you just can't do it. Photo stop at Mod Junction. The film got posted away to somewhere and it came back on a little reel and it ran for three minutes, 20 seconds. If you wanted to make a longer film, you had to join them end to end and put them onto a bigger reel. And quite often there was bad bits that you wanted to edit out, so you would have a cut and splice. Splice, splicing tape was uh, went through a lot of that over the years as well. You had Kodachrome 40 for a bright sunlight and Kodak belatedly brought out Ektachrome 160 but it was a very grainy film, it wasn't nice, it didn't give good results so I actually used Tri-X 200 black and white on dull days and this is why many of my films cut from colour to black and white because the sun went behind the clouds, so a black and white film. I mean, the various clubs had film nights, and members brought along films, and a projector and looked at one another's films. At maybe a, a bus, a, a bus preservation group, or a railway society, or whatever. Even so, I think it's still worth keeping just for the sake of posterity. Um, although, having said that, um, in this digital age, we point cameras at absolutely everything. And, I can't see the photographs of modern transport ever becoming as rare as the photographs of some of the historic stuff. I think they'll still do it. People pull out old um, memory discs and look at old pictures, but there'll be less excitement to it because photography has become something for the masses nowadays. I would say go, go ahead and make, make a record. It's always something to look back on. Uh, even if, it, if it's something everybody else is doing, then it might not have the same social aspect that you'll you'll show, the, show it at a film night because everybody's got the same pictures, but then that is your personal record of places you've been. Although sometimes they take it too far, picture of every meal on Facebook. 